today we will talk about the permissions what are permission in how uh, for understanding what is permission in linux so there are four symbols are used for displaying permission well first is r this is used for read second is w for write x for execute and dash means there is no permission even in the place means if it's uh, if dash is placed over here it means that the user or the group or the or others don't have the right permission only so we will understand about that that what it means so as you can see here i have listed a detailed info so as you can see here and uh, leave this these three are the users these three are groups and these three are others that means the user have these three permission group have these three permissions and the other have means if it is not uh, if it's not a user or a group then what permission will applies that is known as others so the root user can read write and execute but if any other user is assigned a group of root then he can only read and execute as you can see here there is a dash on the write permission and other if it's neither a group of root or whatever he is he is not assigned from a group a root user or a or a group of root so he can only read and can execute in directories it means that the execute permission means that he can only cd that directory means only can access but cannot do anything else on uh, on that directory he cannot copy the files he cannot uh, uh, make a directory in that directory now we will learn about how to change the ownership of a file first only root can change a file owner remember this in linux only root can change the file owner only root or the owner can change the file group means this one this is the user means this file is assigned to the root user and the group root so only root have the permission in linux or a user of that file can change the group ownership is changed with ch own command and for um, for the function of ch own you can simply query ch own main ch own so you can see it's uh, how it functions about its uh, options what option can you use and for uh, if you want to change a group of a file means if i want to change a, a group of uh, this file to the uh, abcd so you can f uh, change with the ch group sorry ch group so let's see let's go to the desktop cd root desktop 
let me create a directory mkdir so as you can see here i have created directory uh, which is uh, this directory is assigned a user group uh, a user root and assign a group of root now if i want to change a group or if i want to change uh, a user as i am logging with root so i have permission to change the owner means if i want to change in uh, if i want to assign this uh, file to a abcd user i can simply type this command ch own as it's an oh sorry ch own minus r because it's a directory uh, user abcd and the file or the directory hi list so you can see here i have changed the owner of this file now if i want to change the group I can simply type ch group because it's a directory so I have to use minus r option abcd I am assigning abcd group and the directory name ls minus l so you can see here now this file is assigned to abcd user and also I have changed the group to ABCD. Thanks for today. Oh, well, before going, I have to let me show you if I create a file uh, touch, sorry, touch uh, so you can see here, uh, you can see over here. I have created a file if I want to change chown owner abcd and file kk now at this time I didn't use the minus r option because it's a file not a directory if you are changing a group or the owner for a directory you have to use the minus r option okay thank you allah hafiz